good morning guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so i literally just woke up and you guys are probably looking at my skin so i'm just gonna show it to you guys this is how my skin is looking right now i also just want to give you guys an update because i am on accutane and my skin is actually getting a lot better even though it looks bad like this i'm gonna show you guys how it literally looked one month ago before i went to colorado so i'll put those pictures in now But that was literally a month ago, so as you can tell, my skin is getting way better. These are not even pimples, these are just acne scars because I'm stupid and I picked at it. And when you pick on your skin while you're on Accutane, that's really bad. So I am I just finished month two of Accutane, so I'm about to start my third month. And I think I'm doing like six or seven months in total, so I still have a long way to go, like five months still. So hopefully after this round of Accutane, my acne really doesn't come back and then I can be done with it because you guys know this is something that I've struggled with for a long time. So I just wanted to talk about that because I know some people have been asking about my Accutane journey. I still am in the middle of it and my skin is definitely getting better, but I just have to go through the process. But moving on from my acne, I do have a lot of stuff that is going on today. So I'm just going to get up, wash my face, brush my teeth, make myself some tea. Then I have to clean my apartment and then the house mom from the club is coming over today because we're going to place another order for Tina V dancewear and then I'm going to show her my new apartment. So you guys know that I did buy a building if you see and I posted on Instagram. I finally closed on my first investment property so I bought a two unit building so I'm going to be taking her there and showing it to her because she hasn't seen it yet. I also want to show it to all of you guys and then we're going to be going to like a store to like look at tiles and stuff like that because I am going to be renovating the entire building so I want to get an idea of like what color scheme I want to go with and just look at tiles and stuff like that. And then I'm also going to be like cooking dinner and just doing my life packing my orders so if you guys want to see a day in my life then keep watching. Okay you guys, so I finished washing my face and brushing my teeth. Now I'm just gonna eat my breakfast. So I just made myself some oatmeal. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just Quaker Oats and I put almond milk in it. So it was like super easy to make. And then I'm drinking my Teamy tea. You guys know that I drink this tea all the time. It's two really easy steps. I just drink the skinny tea in the morning, which I'm gonna need to get more soon because the girl is running out, but yeah, it looks like, I don't know, you can't see it, but it looks like this because it's the one I just made. And then this is the colon tea that I drink at night. So these are really good detoxing teas. I don't drink them every single day. I usually will do it for a month and then I'll take a break and then I'll do it again. They are really good for just cleaning out your body and they're good for your gut health, which a lot of people neglect. And I have been trying to eat like less junk food, especially because of my skin, but I'm human. So obviously sometimes I still slip up and eat that kind of stuff. So this just helps me feel less bloated and helps clean me out. Also, I'm super busy, so it also does give me energy because of the stuff that is inside of the tea. So on days like this and days that I vlog for you guys, it's usually days that I'm busy so I can show you guys what I do every day. So they definitely help me with energy. And I feel like if you're already a big tea drinker, then this is definitely just a tea that you should try because I have like a cabinet in my kitchen that's full of like a whole bunch of different teas. So even before I did tea me, I was already like into drinking tea, just like at night or when like I'm done for the day and I'm ready to relax. It's just good to have a cup of tea. I usually like it, it makes me feel relaxed. So I feel like if you're already into drinking tea, you might as well just try this one and do the detox and see if it works for you. If you guys do want to try out Team Me, I do have a code Christina20 for 20% off. I'll also leave that linked down below. But I'm just going to eat my little breakfast right now and then I'm going to clean around the apartment and then go grocery shopping really quick because my house mom is going to be here soon. So I'll see you guys when I'm done with my breakfast.
Okay, you guys, I just finished cleaning my entire apartment. I have a load of laundry in there. And then I cleaned the entire kitchen. My dishes are in the dishwasher. And then I brought the crock pot out because I'm about to go to the grocery store and buy food to put in there. So I just brought it out so it can be ready. That's my sister's bathroom, my sister's room. And then this is my little office I just cleaned right now. Um, I actually did film an apartment tour because I don't think I've showed you guys this apartment yet. So that's going to be posted soon. I don't know if I'm posting it before or after this video, but I'll leave it linked down below if I end up posting it before. But coming soon. And then this is my living room. I vacuumed, I mopped, I swept, I cleaned everything. Um, I did not clean my room yet, so it's still a huge mess, but I need to go to the grocery store, so I'll clean that later. Okay, I just took a quick body shower, so now I'm gonna do my makeup. Okay, you guys so i'm all showered and dressed and ready i got my little outfit on so i am going to the grocery store right now i'm just walking to my car and then i'm going to get a car wash and then just come back to the apartment and put everything in the crock pot so i'll see you guys at the grocery store okay you guys i just got back from washing my car and going to the grocery store so i'm just gonna unpack the groceries right now and then i'm gonna put the chicken and stuff in the crock pot so it can start cooking so it'll be ready for later so let me just unpack all this Okay, it might look weird and gross now, but it's really just chicken, barbecue sauce, and onion. And once it's done cooking, it's gonna look really good, I promise. So you're literally just gonna close the lid and then you're gonna select how you want it. So I'm gonna put it on high for four hours. Actually, I'm gonna do high for six hours, but you can put it on low and then you can do eight to 10 hours. So it's just gonna cook it slowly. And then in like four to six hours, I'm gonna come back and check on it. But when it's done, you guys are gonna see how it just looks like chicken with barbecue. And it's gonna look really good and it's gonna pull apart really easily. So I'll come check on that later. All right, you guys, I just made myself a little sandwich, my little cookies, and then my drink. And then I'm watching SpongeBob. When I'm done, I'm gonna fold the towels that I put in the dryer earlier. So yeah. Oh, also I wanted to tell you guys, so the house mom is actually no longer coming today because last minute she had to babysit. 
So I'm actually gonna place the new Tina V dance where I order with her tomorrow. But I was gonna take her to the building to show it to her and to you guys. But since she's not coming anymore, when I'm done eating my sandwich, I'm just gonna fold the clothes from the dryer. I'm gonna pack some of my orders and then I'm gonna drop them off at the post office. And then after I'm done dropping them off, I'm gonna take you guys to go see the building because I'm still super excited about it and I wanna show you guys. I also wanna tell you guys like my ideas for renovations. So when I'm done eating, and watching this episode of Spongebob, we'll pack some orders and then go to the building. Okay, you guys, so now I'm packing my orders and have my mom and my sister helping me because I was feeling a little overwhelmed with everything that I had to do and there was kind of a lot of orders. So we're packing everything and I'm putting it over there. Also, something that I too wanted to clear up about the dance wear. So when I first started or like had the idea that I wanted to do like stripper clothes because you know, I felt like there wasn't that many stripper clothes out there unless like you were like going to like Lover's Lane or something like that. I didn't have like a website that I really liked for them. So that's why I wanted to like do the dance wear. And then the house mom at my club said that she knew someone in Texas who made dance wear for her as a house mom, like to sell to the girls. So I went with the lady in Texas and I was under the impression that it was like a lady at her house making the dance wear by hand. Like I just assumed that when she said like she knew a lady in Texas that she ordered from. But it was actually a manufacturer in Texas. So once I got more into like placing big orders and then asking about sizes and stuff like that, she was like, I'm gonna put you in contact with like the people who actually make the clothes. And then that's when I found out that it was actually a manufacturer making them, not like just somebody at their house. So I just wanted to say that. And also I am planning on going with the house mom to Texas to meet with the manufacturers to have them be like a little more custom for my website. So we're hoping that maybe we can like make a deal with them because right now I order all my clothes with no tags on them and I don't want to sew my tag on them because I personally think like tags on dancewear is really itchy and when I worked at the club I would cut off all my tags because I feel like it's just annoying. So I do want to put like a logo or something on them but maybe like a little metal like T or V like engraved or like sewn. What is it called? You know, You're just like incorporated into the design. Yeah. like. Yeah, and with the design of the actual outfit, so it's not like a tag that's like annoying. So hopefully that works out. I don't know when we're going. We're planning on going this summer though to meet with the manufacturer and also just have it so that maybe they can make like exclusive pieces just for us. I don't know if they're gonna actually agree to it. I don't know if they're actually gonna agree to it or not, but we're hoping that if we're placing like big orders every single month, then they might make like a little deal with us. That's another problem I'm having too. I feel like I'm selling out of stuff a lot and I'm not having enough inventory and enough options. So I wanna to try to get more inventory from them if I'm placing like bigger orders and I'm guaranteed to like, put, like buy a certain amount of orders a month, maybe they'll let me. So we'll see what happens because I feel like that's the one thing. I know things are selling out really quickly and it always takes me a while to get my next orders. But I did already apply to like be in partner to get like their like wholesale stuff and my application got approved so hopefully when we meet with them all that stuff goes well also i ran out of stickers so these next orders that are going out are going to be taped and i have to pick the stickers up tomorrow because i ordered like new stickers and then thank you guys but yeah this is pretty much it i just wanted to let you guys know that but when we're done packing these orders i'm just going to drop them off at the post office and now I'm gonna show you guys the building. So we should be done soon since it's all just doing it. Okay, me and my mom are dropping off all the Tina V dance wear orders at the post office. Then we're finally gonna go to the building so I can show it to you guys. So be there soon. Okay, guys, so I didn't show the front of the building, but basically all I'm doing in the front of the building is I have a company coming out and they're gonna take all the trees and bushes out from the building because there is like a lot of trees and bushes. So they're gonna take all of that out and then we're gonna do like new cement and do like new landscaping and then also a new balcony because there is a balcony. I can't show you guys the upstairs unit because I currently do have a tenant that is living up there, but this unit is vacant because the tenant just moved out. So I'm gonna be renovating this unit first and then when they move out upstairs, I'll renovate that one. So it's a two flat upstairs. There's three bedrooms, two bathrooms. And then down here, there's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. So I'm gonna show it to you guys, but I'm gonna be completely like renovating the entire thing. So this is the living room. And as you can tell, there's carpet. I personally hate carpet, especially when you're renting. I feel like it's just like really dirty and you have to clean it. So we're gonna rip the entire carpets out and then we're gonna do like dark hardwood laminate floor because 
real hardwood is expensive and can get ruined. And I feel like laminate is a lot more durable, but kind of looks the same in my opinion. So I'm gonna do dark laminate hardwood floors. And then these are gonna be taken out because right now there's not central air in this unit. So we're gonna put central air and heating. So these are gonna be gone. And then I think I wanna paint the walls like a gray color and then just do like white edges, you know? And then I'm gonna take those blinds out because they're kind of like old looking. The tenant who lived here lived here for a really long time, so this unit has not been renovated in a while. But it's actually pretty spacious, so there's this closet. You know, everything's gonna be renovated though. And then the kitchen is over here. This is the dining room, so this is also gonna come up, and then we're gonna have the floor all be the same color throughout the entire unit, except for the bathrooms are gonna be tile. So I'm gonna get a new chandelier. New floor, obviously. Now moving on to the kitchen. I'm gonna be completely gutting the kitchen. So this whole like island thing is gonna go and I'm gonna put like, you know, the regular like modern items that are just like a little square. I have pictures I can put in of like what my vision is, but I just want it to look like really cute and modern. dark hardwood, gray walls, white edges, and like all like new appliances and stuff. So I'm gonna get a new refrigerator, I'm gonna get a new dishwasher. Right now there's an electric stove and I want a gas stove because I just think those are easier to clean and like maintain. So I'm gonna get rid of this, get a new microwave, get all new cabinets, new backsplash, new sink, basically new everything. Uh, like I said, I'll try to put pictures of like ideas of kitchens that I like. But that's like the vibe I'm going for and I'm going to replace like all the light fixtures. And then this is the pantry, but there's something back there. So we have to deal with that. The guy knows, the people that are working on it, they know the technical terms. I just know I want it to look cute and for the building to not fall apart. But this is the pantry. I'm going to completely redo this. They're going to have like a little wall here so that it doesn't go all the way back. And then like new little shelves and everything. So I'm really excited to show you guys the after. But... I've only had it for like a couple days, so that's why I haven't done anything, obviously. Next week, I think that's when the work is going to start. But then over here, we have a long hallway. So this whole hallway, obviously, all the floors are going to get ripped up. Oh, in the living room, too, I want to do, I'll put a picture of it, but it's like squares and then like lights inside the ceiling. I don't know how to explain it, but what are those called, Mom? You know, the circle lights? Are can inside? lights. Yeah, can lights? I'm going to do can lights. I have pictures of how I want it to look super cute. I don't want to go too overboard because they're rentals, but like I still want it to look really nice. And then even in the kitchen, I want to do like the farmer sinks, is that what they're called? The ones that go down really low. They're so cute. And then this is just a big closet. I'm probably just going to put like new shelves, repaint it, different light. But the closets are pretty big. And then this is the first bathroom, which is also pretty big. So... In this bathroom, we're going to completely gut this bathroom as well. So we're going to get new tiles for the floor. This tub is completely going to be taken out. We're going to get a new tub. This whole thing is going to be taken out. We're going to get tiles for here. A new this thing. A new shower head because I like really good shower pressure. So I want to get like a cool one. And then we're going to get a new toilet. And then here we're going to put a double vanity because I feel like this is like a lot of space so we can do a double vanity. And then I want this mirror taken off because I just don't like it. And if we do a double vanity, I'll probably put two separate mirrors. And then I want to take this out and take this out and maybe like a new light and paint in here and everything. But it's really big. It has a lot of potential. And the actual building itself has like really good bones. It's really just like cosmetic work that it needs. So that's really good as well. And then right here is the second bathroom. So this one's kind of like a powder room. It's really just the toilet and the vanity so ooh. however i do the big bathroom i'm basically just going to copy it in here here not me control if you don't want to, i'll record if you don't want to but basically i'm going to get a new toilet because you see that one's a little dusty and i'm going to get a new vanity so i'm going to get a double vanity there and i'm just going to copy it and put like a smaller one here so new paint new tile new everything so it's not so dusty okay so this is the first bedroom I know it looks dusty, you guys. Do not judge it, okay? I'm looking for before and after pictures. But like I said, these are going to come out because we're going to have central air. So these aren't going to be in the windows anymore. We're going to have regular central air. So all the carpets are going to be up. It's going to be nice dark hardwood, gray walls, white edges, new sliding doors for the closets, new shelves, a new light. And yeah, 
that little thing is going to be gone and it's just going to look like a normal, basic, clean, nice room. Because whoever lives here is going to decorate it however they want. And then there's a second bedroom here. And basically I'm just going to do the exact same thing to this bedroom that we do to that one. Take out the floors, paint, take out the vents, organize the closet different, get different drawers. This thing's going to be gone from the window. Yeah, I feel like everything's pretty much just going to be gray, white edges, dark hardwood floor. And then the big changes are really going to be like in the kitchen and in the bathrooms because that's where everything's literally coming up and becoming brand new. But I just really want it to look like modern and nice. And then back here is like the washer and dryer room. So I'm just going to show it quick because I don't want to be loud. Like well, I'll show it more later. But basically, I don't want to be like all loud in there because there's someone that lives upstairs. But I'm going to get new washer and dryers. I want them to be coin operated because I need to make my coins. And then um, I want to make it look cuter back there. So I want to do like two storage bins for the tenants and a place where they could put like their Tide Pods or like their detergent or whatever. And just have it look like more Pinteresty and cute back there, like more of like a little common area. So that's what I'm going to do back there. I'm going to make sure everything's locked. Okay, and yeah, you guys, it's pretty much what the apartment looks like. The upstairs unit is bigger, so I'll show you guys the upstairs unit, but obviously someone lives there right now, so I can't show it to you. But yeah, I feel like it's probably a little bigger in person than it looks on camera, but I think it's going to be so cute when it's done being renovated, and I'm so excited because I actually get to pick out everything myself. I'm actually going with my mom and my dad right now to like Menards, or is that where we're going? just so we can look at tiles and I can get an idea, but I'm gonna be putting pictures of like what I have in mind of how I want it to look. And I'm so excited to start doing this and I'm nervous and I'm excited to see how much everything costs so I can tell you guys, cause I don't know really what to expect with one having tenants and two like buying materials and doing stuff like that. So I don't know how much it's gonna cost once I buy the materials. So I will keep you guys updated, but I bought a building in a very nice area where the property taxes are high and there's good schools. So once I renovate this building, I already made money because it's already gonna go up in value. So it's better to buy something ugly, even though this isn't ugly, in a nice area than buy the best house on the block in a bad area because this is gonna hold its value and it's gonna be worth more money in the future. Or if I renovate it and wanna sell it in a few years, I'm gonna make more than what I bought it for. Or if I would have bought like the nicest house in a bad area, whatever I bought it for is probably the most it's gonna be worth. So I'm excited to do this. I'm hoping it works out so I can buy other buildings in the future. But we're about to go to Menards or Home Depot or wherever we're going. So I'll show you guys the tiles there and that's it. All right, you guys, I just got home. I'm getting a little exhausted already because I've done a lot today. But we didn't end up going to Menards or Home Depot or whatever to look at the tiles because my parents said it was getting too late. So I'm just going to do that another day during the week with them. But I just got home. And you guys, my apartment smells so good. It smells like barbecue chicken. So the chicken has been in the slow cooker for over four hours already. So it's pretty much almost done. I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like on the inside. And I'm gonna tear the meat apart right now. And then I'm gonna keep it in there for a little bit longer. And then after that, I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes and broccoli to go with it. And I'm gonna make them into little sandwiches. I wish I had someone here to hold the camera for me so you could see how it falls apart. But this is the chicken. So when I go like this, you can see the chicken. I wanna like hold the camera, but I can't. Okay, you see the chicken in there? You guys, and you see how it's just easily falling apart? Like nothing, that's the big chicken. Okay, there has to be a way I can put this. But I'm just gonna cut it up right now because I'm trying to like, look at, you see that chicken? That is fire and it's just it's all shredded perfectly. But it's really hard for me to do this with one hand. But you get the gist. Some really good barbecue chicken. I'm gonna cut it up and then I'll show it to you guys. Okay, you guys, I just finished shredding up all the chicken. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if it looks good to you guys, but in person, it smells so freaking good and it looks good. I feel like maybe I could have put like less barbecue sauce, like maybe just half of a bottle, but it looks fire. And when I make the little sandwiches and I have the mashed potatoes and the broccoli, I feel like it's gonna be really good.
Okay, you guys, excuse my skin again, but I just finished eating dinner and then I washed my face and got into my pajamas. So now I'm just drinking my nighttime tea me. I'm super tired and exhausted from everything that I did today. So I'm just gonna drink my tea and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm not even gonna clean my room today. I'm just gonna do that tomorrow. I'm super tired, but I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.